Um, uh, so, um, I, uh, I, 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 um, I listened to the, to the, uh, the second uh, lecture and, um, and I realized the, the, the sound was very bad and so on and so forth. And um, maybe I'm going to try to, uh, to come back to the, um, to the, the description of the, of the um, uh, projective plane. And um, and then we are going to uh, to try to describe how uh, um, an object of uh, reality can be turned into an object of desire. Um, okay, uh, let's uh, let's start with. Um, you see, I don't have. A, a <sighs> Can you see the, the diagram? I presume you can. Maybe. Okay. That's good. Okay. Um, and I changed the uh, the uh, the marker to have a very wide marker, so maybe it's uh, easier to to read. Okay, so uh, what do we have? What do we have here? Uh, we have um, uh, 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 what I remember of the um, of the diagram uh, uh, Freud made in um, in the letter uh, uh, number fifty two, I think, uh, to uh, Fleece. And uh, what he does describe here is uh, uh, the. Um, uh, this, the, the scheme of, um, of the, the process from a perception to a consciousness. And um, this is the perception of, uh, of an object of the reality and um, then how it is turned through a process into a consciousness. And um, what he says is that there is some kind of matching between uh, the perception of, of, the, of the object and, um, and some uh, remembrances of, um, of the past. And uh, this are uh, some signs uh, which uh, come come back from uh, from the memory of the subject, and which event which might or might not match with the perception of this uh, this object. <clears throat> then he described the process that grows that goes through the uh, unconscious, which is. Uh, by definition, not conscious, and um, then a process he calls preconscious, and then the conscious, the conscious consciousness of the of the of the object. Okay, how are these? Um, how are these uh, uh, this uh, scheme? How is it um, taken back by uh, by Lacan? Okay. Uh, yeah, you have it on the screen. Zach, Zach. Yeah. There is a lot of feedback coming from your microphone. I wonder if you can. I wonder if you can try to hold it in your hand. Ah, oh, maybe. Uh. 
Is it is it better that way? Is it better? It's a little, yes. Yes, it's a little better. Okay. Good. We're going to try this way. Okay. So, um, there. Uh, this is the, um, the diagram uh, Lacan give, uh, uh, that Lacan gives us as uh, his interpretation of, um, uh, of uh, the Freud's diagram. And uh, what, we, what do we see here? Uh, M, which is supposed to be the object of, uh, of the reality. Then the perception, the sign perception, the passage, uh, a pass through the unconscious, preconscious, and consciousness. Okay? And uh, the, the strange uh, thing that, uh, that comes to, uh, to, our, uh, to our gaze when we try to, uh, to follow this, uh, this path is that uh, the, if we, we cannot follow the, uh, the arrows. Um, the, because the sense is changing from here to here, okay? And then goes from here, here to here. Okay? Can you see that? And um, so how can that be, how can that, how can it, that be possible? If I um, come directly to the end of the story, this, um, um, this, uh, the, this, uh, this possibility is, uh, is, uh, is, can be understood as um, the matching between the perception and some ancient perceptions coming from the, uh, from the past of the subject. And it is, it is in the case where this matching is uh, possible, in, I mean, in the way when uh, if the sign if the perception is close enough to an ancient memory, then the process can carry on. In this, um, if we follow this uh, scheme this way, uh, we uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's the first way to uh, to 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 to. To conclude that we do not have um, an uh, an actual access to the object of the reality, that we have an access only to some kind of hallucination of the object, because what we see here is not the object; it is uh, something that is close enough to a remembrance. Okay, but nonetheless, this is a. Uh, we have to consider to, to see how we can consider this as a, um, as a graph that we can uh, uh, through through which we can we we can go, and there we can't. So the idea of uh, we are, what we are going to describe today is how to uh, construct this as an actual graph.
Lacan tells us that it's, uh, it's another way to present it on the, uh, what he calls the R graph. And we are going to, to see that later. But now we have to um, um, uh, to have an access to the, 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 the reality and the, the, the possibility of this as a graph. We have to go to the structure of the, um, the projective plane. Tell us something about the letter on the other graph. Oh, okay. Um, um, okay. Between this uh, M in capital letter and M in um, in uh, small letter, there is all the difference between the object of the reality and the object w which is actually um, encountered by the subject. So this um, the idea is that this big M and little m are supposed to match and this is what is figured here. If you um, uh, if you look at this graph, and if you imagine, and but we will come to this later. If you imagine that you take this uh, this uh, edge and uh, fix it on this edge, but by turning it, the big M on the little M and the little I on the big I, then you have you have built here a Möbius strip. Okay, it's too bad. Excuse me. I have to find another webcam. You know, it's uh, it doesn't it doesn't work. This it's really bad. Now we have everything. Yeah, you've got everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the 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 green the green strip is uh, if you if you. Uh, if you turn it like this, it's going to be um, a Möbius band. But I think we can come to this uh, diagram later because it's um, it's again another way to present this and what we are going to describe now. Is there any way you can go through the, the, the letters on the bottom of the line? M I A F I M. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It lifted, lifted. The view was fine. I just wonder if you would talk about the letter. Okay. Well, uh, it's a bit too uh, too early to describe that. I'm, uh, I remember that, and we'll come to this later when we have another presentation, which we where it's going to be easier to understand. So far, you might be interested in uh, this, the big M, all this, and up to the small M. This, we'll see that later. Okay, so we have to, um, to, uh, to come now to, the, um, to, to explain, to, to show that this is an actual graph Although when you look at it, it seems to be impossible to uh, to go through the um, the the the, uh, the segments, we have to go and use the structure of a projective plane. So I'm going to try to say again what I said la la last time, and uh, hopefully it's uh, it's going to be uh, easier to hear and understand. Okay. So, um, what, what do we figure here? Um, uh, in, the, um, in the black center, uh, in the black center, I'm going to add some color here. In, uh, in, uh, in the black disc, 
the black disc figures the um, the uh, the Euclidean Euclid, Euclidean plane. Um, so it's a 2D uh, 2D figure, a 2D structure, and um, it um, uh, it has the, you can use the rules of uh, what we have learned in uh, geometry in the in the in the high school in high school. Okay, uh, except for the fact which is uh, that it's. Uh, it's it's a plane, but it's a plane which is um, uh, not necessarily flat. In uh, in the geometry we learned uh, the uh, a plane is supposed to be flat, but there we do not uh, take um, any interest or account of the fact that this is uh, uh, is flat. If I do this, for instance. This is uh, the same, um, or if I if I do this like this, with it's it is still the same Euclidean plane, although it's not flat. But it's a two dimen it's it has two dimensions, and that's what in, is important here. Okay, if we draw uh, um, uh, parallel uh, uh, straight lines. On the plane, uh, these um, these lines never uh, um, um, match, ne ne never join. By definition, this is the definition in the in Euclidean um, geometry that um, two lines are parallel uh, uh, if and only if they, they they belong to the plane and they do not join. Um, <clears throat> this black line figures um, a, a point which uh, uh, which is uh, um, as far as we wish. It's uh, it's uh, it's a way to figure infinity. Um, um, the the distance again the distance is not important. Therefore, we can think of this being. Uh, uh, being infinity, do you, uh, yeah, you do you see the? Do you have? A, yeah, you have a vision of the. Okay, I presume. Okay. Okay, there you you got the text as well. I presume. Okay, so this is what's mentioned here. This is the Euclidean plane. So far, so good. But there is a, a, a fundamental discrepancy between uh, between this uh, definition of the projective of the um, Euclidean plane and what we encounter with as uh, as uh, as subjects. What do I mean? I mean that if. Uh, if we are, if if we see parallel lines like this, like uh, a railway um, tracks, uh, we have the feeling, of course, that these lines are meeting uh, at at the uh, at a uh, vanishing point at the um, at the uh, very far away that they um, uh, they, they meet. Okay. Um, so, um, but we know it's a discrepancy due to our um, to the way we uh, we feel uh, because we know that on the train, uh, if we are on the train, the the, uh, the 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 tracks remain parallel. Okay, so the idea was to um, was to take into account this uh, this feeling of a uh, meeting point of lines being parallel, 
and uh, this is the vanishing point, and uh, that's what is figured here in green. Uh, for instance, A is uh, the vanishing point of these uh, parallels. Okay? And um, so this, uh, this particular point, which is uh, in a painting, uh, which can be called maybe a vanishing point, is, uh, is called in uh, geometry a, a projective point. And, uh, but there is um, a particularity in the definition and uh, you asked that question last time, uh, Doug. Um, uh, by definition, we say that for a single direction, there is only one point. This can be uh, st stupid in a way, uh, but not that much. Um, because if you're on the, on, on the track, you see one point in front of you and you see uh, another point behind. And uh, you have to take to, to be aware that it, there might be a train on, on the tracks as well, which uh, you don't want. And, um, but uh, actually, uh, if you walk along the tracks, along the track, this point is always uh, uh, way be beyond yourself. It, it is uh, always uh, preceding you. Okay. Uh, and there, there is, uh, this point is some kind of uh, complementary point, which is going to be added to the um, to the um, to this direction. So in one direction there is one point. Therefore the A and A prime are the same point in, in, the, in the projective geometry. They are only one point. So now, if we take the direction uh, uh, through B, there is another point here, with the same point B prime here, C and C prime, and in, uh, in, uh, in every direction, there is one point. So, um, um, so we have an infinity of points, Um, corresponding to each direction, each direction on the plane. Okay. What What is the beginning of a direction and the end of a direction? Uh, uh, what, what we call a direction, it is, um, it is, we, we can give a, a many uh, definitions, one very simple one is, If I uh, if I draw a uh, uh, standard uh, axis, and if I draw a line, a straight line, okay, uh, I. Um, I uh, formalize there a direction, and the direction is uh, is the um, I don't know how you call that in uh, in English uh, the uh, uh, 
you, um, the, well, the vector or the slope, the slope, I would say. I don't know if it's the standard word in, uh, in, in, uh, in English, but uh, that's what I, it means. It's the slope. This, this direction is the same as this one, and uh, meaning that uh, it's uh, the, the ratios between um, x, y, y, point m, x1, and y1. It is the uh, it's it's um, the uh, uh, it's um, You're right. Slope is the word. It's the word. Okay. Um, um, so for every uh, every direction, there is one slope. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, sim simplest way to uh, to describe what a direction is. It is the the uh, uh, derivative of uh, it is the um, um, if if the the equation of this uh, straight line is uh, y equal a x uh, there we have the slope okay of the of the uh, here can you see that here we have the slope of the uh, of the of the of the the line. Okay? Yeah, the angle of your camera is fine. It's the broadband is slowed for a moment, so it's a little fuzzy. It'll clear up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so that's what the direction is. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, um, okay, so what do we, ha we have now? We have a, um, we have a Euclidean plane and um, a, a series of points which are all connected because one corresponds to each uh, direction. Okay, and these points connected draw a line which is at the infinity. And this line is called a projective line. So can you give us the view can you give us the view of the bottom of the page with the right? Sure. <laughs> Okay, what I've written here is Euclidean plane, projective point, projective line, the green line, and what do we, what, uh, then we come to the definition, to a definition of the projective plane, which is a Euclidean plane plus a projective line. That's what we have to, uh, to, to deal with. And we are going to see and, uh, that um, it is with this uh, structure, which is a 2D structure, which is not flat, that we can uh, reconstruct the, the circuit of uh, the diagram we had before. Okay, so now let's come again, as I told you last time, what are the main uh, major uh, propriety uh, feature of this uh, particular plane. Um, okay. Okay, so um, this is uh, another way of uh, describing what I told you last week, uh, it week uh, two or three weeks ago. Um, it, uh, on on uh, the black disc, 
figures the Euclidean plane again. Okay? And um, what's in green figures what is uh, what depends on the um, the projective line so this is equivalent to a, a part of a sphere it's a it's a disk a disk is a sphere with a hole in it so this is a spherical zone okay because it is equivalent to a sphere with a hole okay so now we take the this uh, this uh, the figure of, uh, of of the letter F and we um, we send it to the uh, to the end of uh, of the plane. I figured here only uh, uh, one line is blue, which is one direction, and the other blue line is another direction. I didn't figure the the two or three lines that I figured before. So what happens there? So we have here. Um, A point here which is can be called A, here B, and uh, by definition it is connected to A prime here to B prime. Okay? So, um, As you see, uh, because the A is connected to A prime and B is connected to B prime, if I want to join them, I need to, uh, to, to join them through a Möbius band. So there's going to be a twist. And um, now, if um, the F is, uh, is big enough to be between just the A and B, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, 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 go along the, the Möbius band, there it's going to be here, and uh, if you follow it, and it enters again the spherical zone, and uh, of course, because we are in the plane, we have the right to turn it. So it's uh, upside down, but I can turn it uh, um, uh, 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 straight. But then, if you look at the difference with this and this, it is um, it, 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 it has uh, changed. It is uh, not the same F. It is just like your right hand and the left hand. So by, um, by, by going through this circuit, the, um, there is a change in uh, polarity. So this zone, it is called aspheric. And here is a zone, okay, okay. Um, okay, it seems, it seems very good this way. But actually, I have uh, cheated. Um, in the way that I didn't say that um, there is a, a certain discrepancy between what we have here and um, and the actual um, uh, uh, projective plane. A projective plane, um, 
come on, how can I say that? Um, I, um, I am taking into account that, the, that this plane um, has um, a, third, a, a certain thickness that you cannot, uh, this F, in my reasoning, is actually on the other side of the disk and not on the same side. Although in uh, a standard projective plane it has only, uh, it has no, no, no thickness. There is only one side. But there we are, uh, we are interested in a structure which has um, two sides and you cannot go through it. Excuse me. Oh. Um, okay. So what do have, we have here? And uh, in a way we can say that the F is, has gone on the other side of the disk, has passed on the other side of the disk. Okay, so far so good. Why is it so good? Because I just draw, I've just only uh, 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 t taken only two points, a b and a prime b prime. It's okay. I just put. It, it's very easy. You've got a disc, and then you take a Mobius strip, and you you stick it together. It's very easy to do it. But look, if now. If now I've got a point, a C point here, then the problems uh, arise because there, where, 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 where does this go? Uh, it goes, it's supposed to go here. It is supposed to go here. But if so we're going to have C prime here. But the, point, the problem is that uh, if I try to draw this, um, uh, to make the strip, then it's going to be impossible to make because it's going to be totally twisted with the other. You can try and uh, you won't be able to do it. As long as you uh, you keep two, well, it's not exactly the case. Because look, I could do that. Maybe. But it's not possible to uh, to 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 make the whole turn. S but nonetheless, we can, uh, we can think of the, this structure because the, it is the actual structure of a, Mobius, uh, of, a, of a projective plane. It is not possible in our space. It is a 2D, it remains to be a, a, a 2D, um, um, uh, a two D uh, structure, but it's impossible to build in our uh, in our three D uh, three dimension uh, uh, space. <coughs> but we are very fortunate because if we uh, if we if we own if we are if we are in a four four dimension space. 
it, it is possible, therefore. So we are going to, um, to, to think and reason uh, about this uh, structure, although we cannot draw it. But what we, uh, what we are going to use um, uh, are the, um, the, um, the properties of this, uh, of this uh, structure. We are going to take into account the fact that the F is on the side that we see here and uh, by the process is reversed but on the other side. Okay. Do you have some questions so far? Yes, yes, that, that's what we are going to, um, to describe uh, uh, now. And um, no, I wanted to, maybe you've got some questions about what we have said so far. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. We are going to, uh, if I tell you the end of the story, uh, yeah. we, are, we are going to, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are going to, uh, to, uh, to come to the realization that uh, this disc has a side which is symbolic and a side which is imaginary. And that the and the aspherical zone is uh, is a zone which is real. This is what the that's what we are going to uh, to go to. Well, uh, if you come into, well, uh, I would say that uh, the ego might stand on one side of the disc. Yes. That it is only one side, it belongs only to one part of the disc, which is the, the imaginary side. But there is, uh, on the disks, there are two sides. And, um, and, uh, but we have to take into account the, um, the, the, the opaque dimension of the disk in the way that we cannot go through it or see through it. We cannot see through it. It, is, it has a thickness. If we, want to, if we want to see what's on the other side, we have to go through the, um, through the aspherical zone to see what's on the other side. And this is... Tell me... Say, say again? I'm sorry. Um, uh, I was wondering if you could tell me how A and B construct the, the band. What is A and B? I know their points, but oh. let's say, are they, are they objects? Oh, no, 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 it's very, no, no, it's very, uh, it's very simple. It is only, um, 
uh, a and a prime is a uh, um, 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 a projective point. B and B prime is a projective point. What I figured here is on, is not more than what we have here. A and B. A is a projective plane which is here and B is a projective plane which is B here and here and so what we have done is we, we have uh, there are many points here and we have uh, uh, decided to join them because they are the same we have the right to put the A with the A prime because it's the same point we have the right to join them and same for B or for C and so on and so forth you see just uh, what it is a, a way to name uh, w what's projected. I see the joining of A and A prime, and then, but the the um, uh, the simultaneous joining of A and A prime and the joining of B and B prime seems to create the Mobius band. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Exactly. That's what it is. It is uh, in a way we can say that uh, at the very end, uh, at, no, at, at the at the projective line, there is an infinity of Möbius strips, an infinity. The projective line is a Möbius band in a way. See, and um, but it does not belong to our our, our dimensions. So we have to uh, we we have to, uh, to to figure that we have to concentrate on a on uh, uh, on some pairs, a and b or b and c or whatever. We cannot if we want to draw it. We have to just um, uh, concentrate on 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 a single pair. Otherwise, we can we cannot draw it. But it's uh, as soon as you need it, you can build one. If if I'm interested in these directions, I'm going. I'm have the right to draw one. Uh, to um, have to think of a, another um, 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 uh, uh, Möbius strip. I, I can build as many Möbius strips as I need. Okay, that's helpful. So now. I'll be interested to see uh, why building one is interesting. Why what? Why? Uh, I'll be interested to see now why why focus on building one at all. So so we have now we have the one strip. What are we doing? I'm sorry, I'm just looking ahead to. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Okay. Okay, I've tried to uh maybe some some of you have seen that. Uh where uh, No, I'm going to hold it. <laughs> so now I've got my two hands are, are stuck. <laughs> um Okay, so this, this, I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna sit, okay, oh, -ho. <laughs> okay, this, um, this figures what we, uh, what, what we have uh, discussed so far. We have uh, here, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a mirror, you know, it's uh, the, the opposite than a mirror. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I could never be able to shave myself on, on this, uh, with, with this. <laughs> the result would be we terrible. We won't make you a weatherman, how's that? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I, I, I'm going to see there, 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 <laughs> there, California, and uh, you know. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, there we have, uh, in red, we have one side of the, of the disk, and there in blue, we have the other side of the disk, okay? So, th this disk figures, um, the, um, figures the, um, the, um, uh, the Euclidean uh, plane, okay? And then you can see at the, the end, we can, you can see that we have um, some, uh, uh, some green, uh, green surface. And this green surface that you have on this side and that you have on this side too, figures uh, the, uh, the infinite uh, number of, um, of, uh, of Möbius strips that we have at the very end of the Euclidean plane and which is a way to, uh, to depict the, um, the projective line. Okay, so what do we know so far is that if... Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to put that down for a second. Hey, yeah, no, I, yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, um, what do I? Uh, okay. So, uh, if we, uh, before uh, talking about the letters and so on and so forth that you are interested in, uh, let's describe again the, the proprieties of uh, this projective plane um, in uh, there. Uh, what does it say? It says that um, if I am on this side, I can reach I can reach uh, the other side by going at the very end, entering the green zone, and uh, the green zone leads directly to the other side. And then I'm going to re-enter the blue zone. Okay? There I don't say anything more than what we said before. Okay, now the question is, uh, how does it refer to, uh, to, to the, the Freud uh, uh, graph and uh, Lacan, Lacanian graph? Okay. We're going to need the previous uh, diagram. Okay, okay, so, um, okay, let's uh, play the game. Tiens, tu voudrais pas venir me le tenir là, s'il te plaît? Juste comme ça, je peux, ce serait plus facile. Okay, uh, so uh, so let's uh, let's see how it goes. An object of reality, which is in M, the 
belongs to the uh, Euclidean plane or not? Because so far it is uh, going to be only the subject of a, it's going to be subject only of a perception. Okay. And um, this object is at the, the edge. It belongs to a real and not to the subject. So it's um, it's at the edge. And what happens there? These perceptions, this perception is going to be hallucinated. No, I think it's going it's going to be hallucinated in, uh, uh, in, in what way? In the way that um, it is going to, uh, to meet it is, going to, uh, it is going to meet in I something that is coming from the, from the, the history of the subject. This is the, uh, the symbolic side. What does it mean? It means that it is, um, it is a reservation of signifiers, just in the reservation in the, in the, in the sense of uh, Indian reservation. It is, um, this is where the signifiers uh, are written and there is a, a possibility of uh, matching between this perception and the, the signs which are coming from the unconscious which are coming from the other the A here figures the other L'autre, in French. This is what we have here. This is what we have here. And uh, this is a way to explain something fundamental that we first do not have, we do not have access to this object of the reality. We have access to some hallucination which comes from our previous meetings, remembrance, remembrances with uh, similar objects. Okay, and this is, uh, is uh, these, uh, these two uh, arrows, this and this, are the best way, the simplest way to explain that we do not have access to an object of reality. And we, uh, if, we, if we search in our memories, or we, uh, we can find... Um, Hundred, uh, hundreds um, uh, cases when, when, where it's uh, absolutely obvious that we, uh, we were wrong in our perceptions. Okay, so um, two things happen. One thing, which is not depicted here, is that this object of reality is going to be added as a new memory. So it's going to, uh, to feed the reservation 
by a new uh, element. And which is going to be maybe used later when I'm going to encounter something that is similar. Therefore, I can be able to uh, make a new hallucination by uh, having access to an, an, another object which looks like a bit, which is similar. The second, um, the second point is that there, there is something in the, in the unconscious that goes away in a way, that, 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 uh, that, that, that has a circuit in the, in the symbolic. That is what uh, Freud called unconscious. Okay, and there we are uh, reaching the, uh, the spherical zone, the green zone. So what happens? We are leaving the disk here where this green arrow is. And where do we find it? We are going to find it, of course, on, on this point you see that? Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah. I think you see it. Um, yeah. So it it comes to the uh, the projective point, which is um, which is equivalent to this one on the other side. So it comes back here, and there is uh, this um, unconscious process that carries on on the other side of the disc, on the imaginary side of the disc, the eye, and what. And in a way, it creates a new instance of subject, which is the S here. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> you see, the subject is vanishing all the time. Okay, so we are here a new instance of subject which is created by the object. And this is uh, very interesting in a way because it's, we are created uh, as subjects by the object. Uh, and there, then there is um, another process, wh which is uh, the uh, wh what the Freud called the preconscious, which is going to uh, to lead to um, to uh, some kind of imaginary point where the consciousness arises. And um, there, which is uh, figured here, I, M, and we come here to M, which is going to be the, some kind of a subjective image of the big M, which where the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the object of reality. We can only have access to some kind of image built by, uh, by our subjectivity. 
and therefore I'm very distorted. And um, And it is actually this disk, which is an instance of subject, connected to the object of the reality, that in which we are uh, interested in. That this object of uh, reality has turned into an object of desire because it built a new subject uh, look I, uh, since, uh, since uh, yesterday I've got a new iPhone <laughs> it's a new object of desire I'm a new subject look <laughs> isn't that great <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that if, after a few a few weeks, uh, I won't. Well, I won't give a damn. <laughs> have to display that onto something else. What'd you say? You'll have to display that onto something else. Yeah, unfortunately, that might happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, as long as it only happens with the phone, you're safe. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, yeah, because there, there can be many, many, many kinds of objects. So. <laughs> That's right. But could be worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, uh, well, this, um, okay, so now we can uh, to, to uh, to, to see what's uh, relating between uh, this disk and what we have here. And, uh, and what um, Lacan describes very often. Because Lacan uh, never, use, uh, never uses this, uh, this, uh, this structure. He always uh, uses the structure of, uh, of a, of a, um, uh, a cross cap. And um, and for me, it's uh, it's um, it's more uh, it's more difficult to uh, to grab and to uh, to work with than with uh, with this um, this uh, structure of a disc because on a, on a um, merci. On um, a cross cap, we have the same uh, the same scheme, but we are dealing here with with uh, with. It's it's just like if you are dealing with the green part all the time, and this is uh, it's very difficult to handle because uh, it's uh, you only can think of it. But there, it's easier because you have to deal with the disc, a green a. Gr um, a blue and, and, and red disc, and the rest, which is uh, complex, which is aspherical, is, uh, is sent at the infinity. Um, and if you want to, uh, to draw the same structure on the, on the Mobius band, uh, goes like this. Uh, uh, I don't do it well, but it's because I've, I should have to uh, to look at the at the at my papers at, at the same time. But the idea is that is that you have um, you rebuild something like that with a a, uh, a symbolic part. A real part, which is uh, green. Can you lower, lower our view? Yeah, 
Sure. And um, a blue part here, maybe uh, I can. If you want me, I can uh, I can draw it better, but it's just to give you the feeling, and it's very complex. And uh, and um, the um, the um, uh, this um, uh, circuit you can draw it here, but it's uh, it's more complex. Um, there is nonetheless one advantage on this. Okay, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the drawing if you if you want and if, let me find it first. Qu'est-ce que je l'ai foutu ce truc? Parce que je ne fais pas de mémoire, moi. If you have a question uh, the, while I'm uh, looking for this, you're welcome. Qu'est-ce que j'en ai fait ce truc? Je l'avais tout à l'heure, j'aurais dû le garder. Merde. Merde, merde, merde. Voilà. Ça doit être par là. Ouais. On va y arriver. Ok. Oh là là. see the the board yeah okay Micro oh yeah microphone sorry um, okay so do it that way This, uh, this part uh, here is uh, the part where, um, um, due to the, um, the, um, the immersion in, uh, in our 3D space, it um, does not actually exist. Okay, so this is how it goes. goes behind this one goes like this okay okay no I'm wrong no 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 uh, no this one you see it's very difficult this one goes like this and this one yeah that's right this one goes here, okay? And then we have, therefore we have here 
um, here there is a, um, a Möbius strip and there we have a red zone the, the disk has been transformed it, uh, and, um, and there we have the blue Okay, this is a disk which which has been uh, uh, transformed by uh, by passing through the, uh, the 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 cross cap, and we can now have the um, we we can now uh, uh, draw the the circuit again. How does it go? Let's start in M. Okay. which is on the other side <laughs> you see it's uh, going to be s difficult we had put the, the M on the red but there it's behind because here it's blue so it's not the good side and then you see it's much more difficult I think there the circuits goes like this was like this with the P perception on the other side then it goes like this goes like this you have it here. There now we are on the right side. We are on the S side here. Here is the S side. And uh, there is the, the I side. Okay? So we... Uh, we care... Okay, um, so, well, I don't want to, uh, to spend too much time on this, but um, we come here to the, this point which is going to be I and then the I. Um, and so on and so forth. The, the S here, and but but what 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 is interesting? It is um, that the um, at a, a a time we are going to cross the R, and. Um, And this can uh, uh, figure in a way, easy, in an easier way, when this um, this Möbius strip is starting to vanishing up to the the two uh, edges that you have here becomes to turn into a single edge. Uh, this is. Um, what Lacan called uh, the, uh, I don't know to say that in English, the, uh, the pointless, the pointless line. There you see the, um, the, the green line is, uh, is a Möbius band, but if you do it that way, You do it that way. And if this uh, these strips, this uh, the 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 the, um, 
the width of this uh, strip is coming to, uh, to none. Then you're going to have this. Okay? This is, um, um, in a way, it's, uh, it means that the, um, the crossing is going to be much easier. And uh, it's, uh, it's um, uh, this, uh, this particular moment, Lacan gives a name. Uh, he calls this the, um, in French, involution, uh, involution. Evolution signifiante. So, if we want to translate this in, in English, it would be um, signifying involution. And um, I think this, these are um, moments of, uh, of, um, of, of particular jouissance when uh, uh, things uh, seem to be uh, obvious. I think this uh, this presentation is interesting for for uh, f uh, as a way to figure the uh, the um, the this line, which is very important, and he calls that the pointless. Line. Okay. Which is <coughs> which is um, uh, particular moment of the subject when this uh, this strip, the two uh, two edges, which is actually only one, but there is a, a width where the width of the real is uh, vanishing. What do you show? Uh, 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 this is from an article by Juan David Masio on yeah. the cross cap and the object ah uh, in Ragland and Milovanovich uh, uh, collection Lacan topologically speaking. It might be an easier diagram to see. It's on page 107. If I can get it in front of the camera, I wouldn't make a good weatherman either. <laughs> but you can see in the diagram that through, through the fold, you go on to the other side. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. So there, on, on the on what you have here. You have, uh, excuse me, uh, what, what you have here uh, figures that the R, the, the green, uh, the green dimensions remain. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that. Uh, it is, uh, what we have here is equivalent to what we have here. Okay? I, okay. And, um, and uh, uh, it is, what what happens during some uh, sessions is that these uh, moments of uh, signifying involution can be presented as the involution of the of the of the real the involution of the real into a pointless line do you, is it understandable what I'm saying? Sounds, sounds like you're saying this is a 
It's symbolic grasping of something of the real. Say again? Sounds like you're saying this is a symbolic grasping of something of the real. I didn't get what you said. A symbolic what? A grab, grasping of something of the real. Oh, yes, in a way, in a way, probably you have the, well, but it's a, it's a vanishing, uh, vanishing moment. It's, um, it's, um, it's, uh, it cannot pertain in the way that you, um, <laughs> if you write that down and if you read it the next morning, you're going to be very deceived. <laughs> it's, uh, It is an instant of ravishing, of, uh, you see, it's, uh, uh, and this is in the right line of the fact that uh, psychoanalysis is not a science, it, because you cannot <coughs> reproduce This uh, signifying involution, you cannot reproduce. Hopefully, it will come again in new, <coughs> in new circumstances, but it's, it is not possible to reproduce it. It is a single moment. And what is the significance of the moment for the subject if it is uh, constantly vanishing? Uh, is there a sort of uh, accumulation of instances which create a, uh, a sense or uh, something? Uh, you are giving a definition of what a subject is. Subject is uh, is vanishing all the time. It is uh, it's vanishing at the at the period at the end of a sentence, and there is a new subject at the next sentence. It is, a, it is a confirmation of the, the structure of the subject. Are, are some time necessary to cross this trip? Does this differ from, uh, how does this differ from, say, the sense of an imaginary phallus? Say again. How does the moment of ravishment differ from uh, the, the imaginary phallus? Uh, I would say, I would say, uh, I would say that it dif Oh, excuse me. Fin finish what you're saying. Uh, maybe the question doesn't make sense. Um, it, um, I would say that um, it's uh, it's it is a, a more com uh, complete moment in a way because it's uh, it is at the junction of the um, of the real, the symbolic, and the imaginary. And not only the um, the uh, the consequence of uh, of the of the of the symbolic phallus of the uh, of the phallus. It is um, uh, it is in a way <laughs> it is less uh, uh, deceiving <laughs> than the the phallus. <laughs> And uh, forgive me, I, this is a really interesting place for me, um, having uh, at one point studied the uh, Reichian uh, work. Um, so, will you say then that this uh, moment of ravishment, that this includes a kind of a felt sense, a piece of, uh, an experience of the body, and not just a sort of um, an imaginary meaning? Uh, 
I think one can feel it. Uh, it is in the aftermath that uh, if you try to reproduce it, that you, then it's going to be, uh, you, you're going to have the feeling it's only imaginary and uh, extremely deceiving. Um, and um, and uh, this is a particularity of the process of psychoanalysis that uh, you, uh, you, after a while, you take into account that this is definitely vanishing and that you, uh, you can keep the memory of, the, of this instant of, um, of particular jouissance or... Uh, and uh, but not trying to reproduce it, and uh, and and I would say uh, that uh, in the meantime, it's uh, that it is uh, something that then you are going to uh, to search or look for in the um, in the analytic process when you have uh, encountered uh, this uh, this process of. Uh, signifying involution, you know that it, uh, you own it and that you have uh, the ability to, uh, to, um, to encounter this, uh, this in, uh, in, in other uh, 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 circumstances. And would you say then, rather than creating this thing again, specifically just in the same circumstances, that a sort of knowledge of a structure would, uh, would uh, give indications of um, circumstance, similar circumstances, but not exactly the same circumstances where such uh, involution might arise. These moments uh, in the psychoanalytic process are gifts of the gods. <laughs> so they come sometimes, and most of the time they don't. <laughs> Yes, no, and I know you're speaking to, like, actually working with this um, in the process of analysis, but I'm talking about uh, in the living of a life. Sure, um, sure. Uh, it, 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 psychoanalysis teaches you how to uh, to to uh, to uh, to, um, uh, to take these moments of life as treasures. If you if you are in a, in a theater and uh, and the uh, the actors. Uh, are uh, are touching your heart and uh, in a specific way you are it's, uh, it can be some moments of uh, signifying involution as well but it's um, it's I would say that it's the dimension of gift that uh, you you learn to to uh, take into account. Uh, so last, lastly then, uh, this is uh, utterly random, and, uh, but uh, you, you might say, uh, I wonder if you would say there's a certain savoir faire, a certain know-how in relationship to how you approach, how, how to stay somewhat open to the possibility of a gift. Yeah. Yes, but it's. Uh, I'm just talking about me because it can be very different for many other people. But uh, I would say that it's uh, more the the dimension that it is a gift. <laughs> but this is how I feel it. But it's uh, my personal right. way of. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate your indulgence. Thank you. You appreciate what? Yeah, I, I feel indulged. I appreciate this. Ah. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, it's gonna be about ten ten p.m. my time, and uh, 
don't you think we should uh, uh, stop? What what do, what do you um, uh, what, what would you like to uh, to um, we uh, that we talk about next time? What do you think? Do you have an idea or? No. <laughs> I'm interested in the uh, the the object A. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I, I forgot to mention, but this is an instance of object A, of course. <coughs> this. Uh, <coughs> um, I've lost my object A. Where did I put it? <laughs> this. <coughs> The object A has the structure of a disk, okay? And uh, <coughs> this is, okay, this is the most important thing, I think, is to understand. I think what has to be understood is that you come with uh, the big M, which is an object of the reality that that you uh, that you uh, you perceive, but the result is a disk. This disk is an instant of object A, instance of object A, and. Why is it not going to be appropriate? There is um, a structural reason for that. And um, as we've seen last week, um, we have put the object A as a point at the tree scale of uh, real symbolic and imaginary. In one case, we have a point, and on the other case, we have a disk. And uh, we are trying to make the two fit together. So it's gonna, it might work, but for a very short period of time. We put a disk to uh, to feel a point. <laughs> this is uh, structurally inappropriate. Therefore, there is going to be deception. And, but a consequence of the deception is that it leads to the possibility to desire again. Which is the good part of the story. <laughs> I mean, next time the fit will be better between the object of reality and the object of desire. You can only hope. <laughs> hope is an object of, de of desire as well. <laughs> Okay. For me, uh, I think where I would like to go more in depth is um, is that place where where we uh, would maybe map out the uh, correspondences between what? the two sides of it. Is the, the correspondences? The uh, what well, was uh, if there are any correspondences between the uh, uh, the symbolic and imaginary parts? Because there seems to that that's where I have I think most problems understanding what the conceptions are, and uh, there is some place in your paper where you say uh, the, this is completed by the real is the synchronously uncrossable bar of the relation signifier in the time. So, uh, I see more of what's happening during the traversal of the imaginary 
side of the disk, which happens after the uh, significant uh, involution, signifying involution. Okay. I'd like to have some more talk about that. Okay. If you might, or maybe yeah, next time. Yeah, next time. But uh, Jeff, to remind, uh, to remember something, which is. Um, 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 Uh, this presentation of a signifier and a signified. You have to remember this because this can be very helpful in the way that there you got S1 and S2 but mainly you got this bar and uh, and what we have uh, talked today is uh, is the structure of this bar which um, uh, uh, which um, make impossible the possibility to go through directly, but we uh, by um, but it is possible if we uh, take the time to go through the process. Which uh, uh, th this bar has the same structure as what we have here, and we can uh, we can go from one side to the other side by taking the time to uh, to do it by because i can i can come to s2 but not when i am at the, the time of s1 i can come to s2 after a while okay does the time to go to see what's under because this other structure of a Möbius band or a projective plane this bar um, a Saussurian bar is a projective plane it is not like a fraction in, 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 in arithmetic it has the structure of a projective plane therefore um, um, the bad news is that you cannot go through it because it is opaque and has a thickness but the good news is that with if you let the time goes on you can have access to the S2 after a while okay. you see it's a matter of time Time to understand. Jacques? Yep. Uh, so I'm wondering if perhaps next time we could talk about the ontology of the subject. Oh. <laughs> but, it would so, yeah, because it's a. Uh, I think, right. It's, it's very interesting because there is a contradiction in the terms. <laughs> Well, absolutely. That's why I want you to explain it. <laughs> okay, we can uh, we can try because th then we're gonna go into the uh, and into talk more about the mm, milestones that happen between the perception, perception sign, the first identification, primary identification, the unary. Oh state, yeah, yep. And so forth. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's going to be uh, 10 hours, uh, 10 hours uh, meeting, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, very good. So it's going to be at the beginning of November or something, I think. Huh? It's going to be at the beginning of November. Yes, November, uh, it's November 5th. Okay, very good. Okay. And then if you don't finish, you can finish in person here in San Francisco, November yeah. 20th. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. If Absolutely. we run out of time. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So, thank you. Is this the moment to conclude? Yes. Till the next time. Yes, thank you, Jacques. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Thank yeah, thanks to you. Okay. Okay, we stop so now. Much, everybody. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.